All right, welcome back to Valley News Live. We're taking a look here in Fargo where it hasn't started snowing yet. So if you're still out, make sure you spend this time to get back in. There are some low hanging clouds, which is an, can be an indication of some snowflakes up in the clouds, not quite making their way all the way to the surface yet. So we're just gonna have to keep our eye on that. And we have first alert weather days starting about now, moving through tomorrow afternoon. That snow finally starting to wrap up sometime uh, around lunchtime, but we also have some more first alert weather days later in the week on Thursday and Friday as yet another round of snow is going to make its way in. I'll have more details on that in a little bit, but first let's go through what we're experiencing right now. The heaviest of the snow way down south, primarily a southern valley type of snow system. We are seeing some snow make its way a bit farther north, but like I just said, a lot of it not making its way to the surface quite yet. And that band of snow that was parked right along the North Dakota, South Dakota border has drifted a little bit farther to the south where you see these darker blues. Looks like it's falling apart a little bit as well, but we're gonna continue seeing that snow all the way through the evening period into the overnight period. Here we are about 1230 tonight. Still that heaviest of snow way down to the south, right along that North Dakota, South Dakota border with plenty of strong north winds blowing that snow all around. So if you have to head out tonight, maybe rethink those plans, especially if you're headed down south where things are pretty nasty on those roads down there. Now by 3 a.m., we're gonna see this thing start to move off to the east, the heaviest of snow making its way across that North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota tri-point right there down in the south. And that's gonna continue pushing its way to the east and Right before sunrise, here we are 6 a.m. We're actually going to see some clearing skies to the north. And as a result, we'll see some folks fall below zero as some folks down in the south will be holding on to those high 20s. So quite the spread in temperatures. And by sunrise, right around 730, we're going to see the snow starting to taper off, push its way to the east. And we're still going to be dealing with some snow showers at that point. But it will have tapered off quite a bit, but uh, the Gang On Valley today will help you get out the door. So make sure you take a, take a look at them. As we move through the lunch period and into the afternoon, we're actually gonna see plenty of sunny skies across the area, but plenty of north winds causing those temperatures to fall throughout the afternoon. We'll actually see some folks sitting below zero as it's time to head off to bed tomorrow and some gl gathering clouds as yet more snow makes its way in from the west. Now this is what we're looking in the way of accumulation, primarily right along that North Dakota, South Dakota border where that band has set up and more you go away from that border, the less and less snow you're going to see. Here in Fargo, we're going to see about an inch, maybe less. Now, as we uh, look in those temperatures tomorrow, it'll start the day about 19 degrees and actually fall throughout the day, ending the day in those single digits. And we have that first alert weather day tomorrow, a bit of a break in the snow Tuesday and Wednesday. We're still going to have snow, but not quite as much. And then Thursday and Friday, we're going to see a lot of snow move on in. Temperature not all that bad, 30 degrees on Thursday, 26 on Friday. That snow starts to wrap up on Saturday and then this next week, not looking too bad. The sun comes out and temperatures in the low to mid 20s. And no first alert weather days for now for next week for as now, well. For next week, but yes. man, this is going to be one week to get through. It is. Yeah. Yep. Jim, thank you so much. Well, coming up on Valley News Live at 